So with this, um, uh, you'll need a few extra tools. Um, you can go to Michael's or an art store, uh, any art store, and find clay gouging tools, or uh, and they're just little loops. Um, the bigger ones are stronger. Uh, these are a little bit more delicate, so you have to be a bit more careful with them. You'll also need an X-Acto knife, and again, you could get that at an art store. So I'm just gonna trace around the shape, uh, quarter inch sort of indentation into the and it can be deeper, but again, this is very, very sharp, so uh, you have to be careful. Cutting away from you is probably better. Sometimes I forget. What you need to do is, is to take uh, one of your clay tools and start peeling away the rest of that orange skin. This technique, uh, it's probably better to use a larger pumpkin that feels a little bit softer to your touch. Um, smaller pumpkins tend to have a harder skin, and, and it's just, easier to, to peel. To cut the holes for the eyes and the nose, again, it's just two small circles. And then to achieve the teeth uh, in a really simple way, so you're not, you're just gr drawing two lines, one on the top, one on the bottom. So you're drawing a line, you're drawing another line 45 degrees to that line really closely so that you're creating some shadow. So the last part of the of the uh, of the um, jack o' lantern would be start to to cut out the um, the the crossbones. Um, so I'll just do that. I would cut out all four sides, like I've done on the example here that we've done before. It's white on this side, so to create a more more three dimensional kind of look, just taking the bone, flipping it over. And that's how you make a skull and crossbones jack-o'-lantern.